Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. A bit of an update for you on my YouTube journey, uh, how much I've earned through YouTube um, ad revenue, um, and something to help us earn a little bit more. And it's not even from YouTube, but it has opened up something else. But anyway, let's have a look at some takings, or some earnings. So, for the month of June, we had 2,000... 747 views which is down on last month I'll tell you that for nothing you can see there I'm down by 7% um, watch hours was up 6% subscribers down by 20% and I mean I don't know what this is all about but is your channel like that because I seem to be getting a lot of that people subscribe probably watch a couple of videos and then unsubscribe it's not good for you. It's it's probably does your head in like it does mine in. It really does my head. Probably lose a couple of subscribers because of that. Hey ho. <laughs> right. Let's have a look at some revenue from AdSense. So here we are in the revenue section. As you can see, CPM twenty nine. 53 um that good is that bad well, you tell me what's yours um all i can say is i was expecting this month to be pretty bad because of the low engagement of views i've gotten or received or got or whatever you want to say um but as you can see from this there's like three decent spikes in it so, did that help? Well, we'll wait to find out. Let's have a look. Now, the RPM, revenue per milli, or revenue per thousand, again. So, on these three spikes, £30 per thousand, £37 per thousand, £44 per thousand. It'd be alright if I had that many views per day. But considering the views were down to 27, sorry, 2,700, uh, average views would be about 90-ish per day. So, so what did I earn? Just through revenue. So that's what I've earned revenue-wise. So payback was just under £30. 1365 was per thousand. So that's my revenue. Now, can you imagine if I was getting... I don't know, 10,000 views. What revenue I'd be getting? Probably three times that, or over £100 a month. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've always set out my goal was a pound a day. And that pound a day basically pays for days out, going out and parking and a bit of diesel for the car, maybe something to eat. You know what I mean? It helps me get out more. If I was earning more, it'd be great. And I've got something for that, where you can earn more, and it's nothing to do with YouTube, and it's free. Two seconds. Let's have a look at the Excel, and we'll go to that. So we are in the Excel, and you can see thirty days in June, five uploads. That's how many views I had. That's an average of per day. That was my CPM, RPM, and how much I've earned. So as you can see, even though I was down well over 300 views, I made basically an extra third that month in June. Now, not expecting this one to be any good July-wise, because everyone's kids have broke up from school, there's been loads of proms and stuff, including the, my daughters. <coughs> so we've had loads of things like that and then the beginning of this week we had the hottest temperatures we've ever recorded in britain 40 42 degrees or 41 degrees or something which is unheard of they shut trains down because they're scared that the lines are going to buckle under the weight and stuff because of the heat melting well not melting but making the, the lines a bit softer too what too much snow too many leaves all on trains. I think we need a better infrastructure, but here we'll have to make. 
So they were the figures. Like I say, 37.46 earned via revenue. Now, when it comes down to the thing I was telling you about, now I haven't seen much publicity about this, and I haven't seen many other people or any of the big YouTubers stating stuff like this or letting you know about this. Um, and in my view, you couldn't get this unless you had 10,000 subscribers. Now I'm only on 1,090 at the moment. Um, but I've been given access to this. So if you've just started your partner program, have a look at this and see if you can get onto it straight away. What is it you say? Get on with it. All right, chill. So you go onto the, your homepage and not a lot has changed, you think. But then you come across this, store. Now, is this a new thing? Well, it is to me, but did I get an email about it off YouTube? No, did I get anything in um, YouTube Studio? I can't remember seeing something on there. That again. So to find it, if you go into monetization and then go into shopping, basically you've got, it comes up, there's a few variants or a few places you can do. You can add your, uh, Shopify, if you've got Shopify, or like I have, I've gone with um, Spreadshop. Okay? So follow what they tell you to do, usual bump, your name, your address, how you want paying, whether you're tax deductible and all that lot, because you know what I mean. Go through that, upload your images, put it on whatever product you want, and this is basically what you see on store or on my. So this is the actual in-store itself. If you go to all products, and these are all products that I have on there at the moment. And don't get me wrong, yes, I know not everyone's cup of tea and not everyone's going to buy them. But if they're not on there, no one's going to buy them because they're not there. So what do you get? Well, you've got T-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, long sleeve shirts, uh, jackets and vests, polo shirts, tank tops, organic product, organic products. Okay. Organic products. Hmm. Uh, sportswear, so you've got caps, T-shirts, you know what I mean? Um, I quite like that one. But yeah, there's 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 a lot there, a lot there. But not only that, you've got cases. Unfortunately, there's only uh, iPhone cases. Wall art posters. So if you wanted a poster of one of these, you can buy a poster. And not not anything wrong. I mean. Size wise, what are we looking at? 36 inch by 24, so 90 by 60 centimeters for 14.49. Don't think that's too bad at all, myself. I don't. Don't too think that's too bad at all. Stickers. You know what I mean? Accessories, face, face coverings, hats, caps, bags, aprons, bandanas, pillows. Pillows? So you've got pillows, you've got, you know what I mean, a lot. But like I say, all you have to do to find it is go into the shopping and it's all there. You just basically follow what it says, upload photos. Um, when you are uploading photos, make sure they are high resolution, especially if you want to sell them <clears throat> as the posters. I think the minimum was something like 700, uh, 7,000 by 5,000. It works out to be about um, 30, 30, yeah, 35 megapixel. So you might need to up your megapixel on some of your photos, especially if you're just exporting them for the likes of um, YouTube to put them films and stuff like that. It won't be 1080 or whatever. You know what I mean? So just make sure that, that you sort of that out first when you've uploaded them. You can go into Lightroom and double your size of things in there. Uh, I might actually do a video on that because there doesn't seem to be a lot of talk about it. Um, but that's what I've done. Anyway, get this opened, get them on there, get to sell them. You don't make a lot from them. I think it's about £4, £5 or something like that per item sold. 
know what I mean? But what you've got to remember is these people will print it, ship it, take the money, give you your cut, and all you've got to do is upload a photo. Title it, bit of a description, keywords, done. It's like any other pod site, print on demand. So have a go at it, see what you think. If nothing else, it might earn you a couple of quid. Um, I'm trying it, but I'll try and give you an update on that on the next one as well. See if we've earned anything from that. Anyway, guys, have a good one. Um, stay safe. Uh, I'll probably see you. It'll be more the back end of next month because kids are off. I don't think I'm going to have the time. But anyway, see you in the next one, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And go and watch another video for me. Later. Bye now.